Okay, we're gonna count down for the lights. No, 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 that happens at the end. You gotta thank everybody. Uh, like you, we gotta thank you. No, this guy, yeah. Let him. he's gonna interrupt <laughs> and put his agenda into this. Come on in, Mr. He's mayor. mayor. This is the oh, mayor of the okay. city of New Bedford, uh, Mr. John Mitchell, mayor of the city of New Bedford. We also have our council for Ward 4, uh, Mr. Dana Ribeiro, and we have our at-large counselor uh, for the city of New Bedford, Ms. Naomi Carney. But I also wanna thank the uh, city workers who have helped us put this together, uh, John Lobo, Masi, uh, Peter Christensen, and Nora Adino, and all the guys over at uh, Ron LaBelle's office with DPI, and the gentleman right here, I don't know his name off the top Emer of my head. And Emergency Management Services. Emergency Management Service, Mr. Mo um, uh, Mahoney. Mark Mark Mahoney up there in the, in the truck. Steve Pont. And Mr. Pont, who I didn't return his call last week. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'll get I'll get on top of it. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure I correct myself. And I can't forget that uh, Mr. Tony Cabral's office, Mr. Al Madeiras from Tony Cabral's office, set Representative Tony Cabral's office, I should say. So we have a real good crew here. Plus, I want to thank all of you parents for bringing your youngsters today, for being part of this community. This is your playground. Uh, this tree is going to be here up until after Christmas. Please take care of your tree. This is your tree. It's your neighborhood. Uh, and we welcome you here to uh, Monty's Playground uh, for this event. And I'm going to turn it over to... How about the kids that made the ornaments? Oh, oh. yeah. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Jackie Ramos from Sunshine's Place, the ornaments from the kids here from Sunshine's Place, and all of the other decorations. Uh, where's Shelly? She she where'd she go? Uh, in the back. Shelby? Shelby, thank you for your decorations. She's talking. She's networking. And uh, this is a lot of great work that was done Friday and today. I also want to thank my sister Sandra for all her work in getting this done and the work that we've done across the street in the Peace Garden, which is also decorated for Christmas. And lo and behold, how can we forget Santa Claus is here? Okay, and I want all the kitties to come around and enjoy Santa Claus. But in the meantime, we're going to also listen to our mayor and our city representatives. Thank all right, you. all right. Thank you, buddy. Let's hear for Buddy. Nice job putting it together, buddy. We, uh, yep, yeah. I think uh, I think Buddy hit it all. I really appreciate you recognizing the city employees who uh, who worked on this uh, as they do with every tree light, and we do them around the city because uh, every city, every neighborhood in the city should get a chance. The kids in every every neighborhood should get a chance to do something like this. I think this one's extra special in part because of the uh, the ornaments, all hand done, all authentic. If you've made an ornament, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Yes. Who else made an ornament? Nice going. Of course you did. That's fantastic. Very creative. Nice job. Look, and this is look. Consider this your contribution to your neighborhood, and that's a good thing. Um, I don't want to uh, belabor anymore. I want to thank Jerry Pinto for all of his work on tree lightings around the city, again, as well as uh, all the city employees who uh, play a part in. I know uh, Councilors uh, Carney and Ribeiro feel the same way. It's a, good, it's a really big team effort uh, by our city uh, government to do this. Fortunately, this year, it's not as cold as it usually is. Let's keep it that way, knock on wood. With all that, um, I just want to say, from my family to all of yours, have a wonderful holiday season. Really enjoy yourselves. Let's all be grateful for all the things we have uh, and look forward to the year to come. We also want to thank our community police officer, Mr. Gibney, who is here. Uh, yep, Tim Gibney. Tim Gibney. Got a, got a, we have a very good relationship with the peace yep. of this community, yep. and we want to keep that. All right, so who's, uh, you want to say a few words, Counselor? Yeah, we'll just say All right, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> well, I just want to extend from my family to your family a very happy holiday season. I want you to be safe. I want you to hug your parents, hug your loved ones. Make sure you tell them that you love them every day because they are so precious. And be good because Santa Claus is here 
and he'll be here on Christmas Eve again, won't you? Okay. He's keeping his list. That's it. He's checking it twice. And have a Merry Christmas. All right, Council Ribeiro. Hey, everybody. Thanks for coming. Thank you, parents, for bringing your kids here for the tree lighting and for letting them make ornaments. You guys, I'm just going to remind you to be good in school, to listen to your parents. You guys are like the most well-behaved young people I've ever seen. I probably would have gotten more presents if I carried myself the way you did. So uh, good job, parents. These are some great kids. And let's have a happy, happy holiday. All right. All right, very good. OK. Countdown time. Who's, uh, who's up for the countdown? What do you want? You want to start at 10? No, we got to start higher than that. 50, how about 50? No, no 10, does 10 sound good? Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh. Hey! Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right, nice job, everybody. <laughs> Merry Christmas, New Bedford. This is Santa Claus coming at you live from Monty's Playground in the uh, South End near downtown. And I'll uh, just call it to say uh, Merry Christmas to everybody and Happy New Year. And uh, make sure all you little boys and girls are well behaved and do good in school. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs>